Go ahead, click on like, and make sure that you support the channel in that way. Wesley. Wesley says, Mehran, I love you, but you missed my text. Text here. Here. Oh, I'll look for it. Don't worry. And... Ah, El Haj is from Minnesota. Oh, yeah, I can see your uh, screen uh, um, uh, emblem thingy here. There it is. Wesley says, Hey, Mehran, I messed up big time. Did you now? <laughs> Join the club. I contacted my ex after four months of no contact. She never gave me closure. Now she ignored me completely. Greetings from Germany, male, 30 years old. Guten Tag, Wesley. Wie geht's heute? Obviously, you're feeling like shit. Scheiße, yeah? <laughs> but es ist normal. Es ist normal. <laughs> we all go through these things. So what you have done here... Uh, firstly, remind me, Wesley, um, what part of Germ Germany you're tuning in uh, from. And oh, here it is. The rest of it is right here. It says, um, greeting from Germany, male, 30 years old. Okay, thank you very much for that information. I appreciate it. Wesley, what you have done is that um, you are looking for something that has got no meaning and no use. That <clears throat> word closure uh, closure for what 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 do, what do you guys mean closure closure is just a state you create in your own mind to satisfy yourself that i'm okay i'm affirmed nothing has come off of me nothing has been diminished uh, it's not like she dissed me it, we just weren't compared all these nonsense that you make for yourself as if you need that uh, to uh, s to still feel or as if it's important for you in reality that she uh, somehow is not um, dissing you or is still affirms you or she's not dissatisfied with you or uh, you're still good because she uh, she wants you or likes you or she's not uh, or the fact that she's left you doesn't mean that somebody else is better than you all these things are going into your mind and you think you need her permission or you need her um, uh, forgiveness or you need a some kind of a reason to justify why it didn't work you don't need to justify why it didn't work it just sometimes doesn't work most often if it's long enough duration of a relationship long enough it will not work unless these two have actually during the time that they were infatuated with each other they liked each other and they were having a good times or a, a peace time so to speak they tried to get to know the real each other and they steered away from just as being satisfied and settling with knowing and interacting with each other's image as you know as we talked about it before Every one of you, every one of us, have a certain kind of an image of ourselves in our own mind. And we are constantly in pursuit of upping that image, becoming more in that fictitious, illusory image. Because we've been conditioned ever since childhood to have to be more. To be recognized when we're compared we should be more so we'll compare good the teachers compared us you know so and so gets good grades so and so has got so such a good backpack or you know she or he is polite and this and that always being compared or in your parents with your siblings compared you with somebody else's daughter or son they compared you in sports you're always being compared a hierarchy in school as far as who got the better grade and all that always this has been part of your conditioning to grow up and want to become more for many reasons because you have been brainwashed to think to be more is to by attaining things 
or doing things and then that would make you more rather than actually trying to find out how your psyche works <laughs> to be able how to negotiate in a balanced way your life your day-to-day -day life instead you've been busy just to bring yourself to be more shown and to uh, look that as compared to the others that you're more rather than compared to yourself how you can uh, advance and become a better version of yourself so your focus has always been on the wrong thing to be more now that you are actually becoming aware that you you are negotiating the world your life uh, through an image you have of yourself you're still trying to make that image a little better image <laughs> be a more image a different kind of image as you go along so even the fact that you are really not focusing on getting to know yourself and you're not really interacting with other people uh, through your center through the real you with the real them and that you're negotiating life and your uh, your connections interactions relationships are between your image and the uh, your your partner's image you're still trying to be more in the image the illusory image you still have the same conditioning once you realize this and you simply say i don't want to deal with world through image then you'll be free you will neither think it's important for you to be more than the others nor will you be focusing on um, what kind of image you have how you should fluff it so it would look good in your own mind about you and in the in her mind about you and that will all disappear and you will become free and very light to actually elevate and advance in life based on what it is that interests you and you find important as part of your tool to become more positive and helpful and affect the community and societies that you live in in a positive manner and that's how you become more instead you're trying to cater to a certain image you have of yourself in your mind and do things by having this girlfriend or having this thing or that thing in order to make yourself feel good because you have created a better image of yourself in your mind because you have attained this you bought this you got this you got this girlfriend and you got this affirmation and she's okay uh, with you even though she broke up with you so you still have a good image of yourself in your mind it's all about that Otherwise, there is no need for closure. You want the closure because you want to have a better image of yourself in your mind. Because right now, you don't have a good image of yourself. You know, the funny thing is that you, Wesley, are the same person as you were before you had this girlfriend, during you have this girlfriend, after this girlfriend broke up with you. Nothing has come off of you. Nothing has been diminished from you. You're still just as good or just as bad, just as intelligent or not just as expert in something or not just as interesting or not nothing has been changed in you what has changed is the image that you have or you had of yourself about you in your own mind and this breakup has made you now see yourself feel about yourself about the image you had of yourself differently and for that you're striving and, 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 and struggling to get that image that you had of yourself a few months back before breakup. And you think that has to do with if she would still give you a closure, a reason, a, a, you know, a, a justified reason. What reason? What reason do you need? There's somebody from out there who basically is dealing and negotiating life with her own image of herself in her own mind giving you some kind of a excuse or justification why she doesn't want to be with you so you will feel good about the image you have of yourself in your mind isn't that ridiculous you're not an image shed all that image out focus on you because you haven't changed it still reflects the light the same still thinks the same nothing has come off of you because she does or does not like you or this one or that girl or you get them or you don't get them nothing that's only the department of ego and desire and 
the, uh, the order and your mechanical process and how you fluff yourself through fulfilling your desire has nothing to do with you as a person, as a center, as your consciousness, as how you have developed yourself in this life, what you have learned, the experiences you've had, they're all still there. So what is it that you think this closure, the reason she will give you? So what is it going to be? You didn't buy me a flower or you were rude to me or what? All it is, is that her psyche, her consciousness is different than yours and everybody's consciousness is different than everybody else's. And on that connection, it wasn't compatible. What she expected from life and from outside of herself rather than from herself was not something that she could get from you. And that by itself is not a reflection on you. It's a reflection on her because she is trying to gain happiness and comfort and satisfaction and contentment uh, through a relationship, which means uh, through the boyfriend's efforts and interaction not through her own understanding of how to negotiate life, not through her own merits and her own efforts and her own understanding and elevation in uh, knowing what life is all about, how her life should be, where she wants to go, how you want to go there, and so on and so forth. So it's a reflection on her. So her consciousness is put together differently. The content of her consciousness is different than yours. And eventually, after that initial time of maybe a few months or a year or two years passed, and all the relationship has been based on physical interaction and appreciation and exchange, then they realize that there is no compatibility. They don't know each other because they never tried to get each other's con to get to know each other's consciousness. Therefore, they see, they they figure out, huh? I'm not happy. Why? because you never tried to have a relationship with each other, the center of yourself, the who you are, but only she tried to have a relationship with, you know, how you look like, what you have, where you take her, and you try to have a relationship with her, how she looks like, and what fun you guys have, how she smiles at you, what things you can do to make her pleased, and you know, the sex and intimacy and parties, ha ha ha, drinking here, all on things that are just pictorial, illusory, imagery in comparison to how other people are and you want to present yourself in a certain different light an image and a painting to them so they would think of you in a certain way that you would like them to think of you and for that you strive to have a certain image by being together by doing certain things so that is really not a relationship between you two it's a relation between the two images you have of each other in each other's mind and the image you have of yourselves in your, in your own mind and the image you have of the others and how you want the others to have an image of you in their mind. So it's all bullshit. Now you want a closure on that. You just got one. The closure is nonsense. The consciousnesses were not working together, could not know each other, did not know each other, could not be compatible. So it doesn't work. And it's always going to be the same as long as the relationship is only based on part of what is important in relationship, sex. A physical appearance, physical exchange, money, comfort, and all that. These are just things that are on different levels of necessity for different people. But it's got nothing to do with the two people actually knowing each other and interacting as a team, as a couple, as a unit, in order to negotiate life and its challenges and opportunities together. That's not why some of these, most of the people get together. They get together to see what the other one's gonna do for them. How the other one is gonna cause them to be happier in life. Because they can't get it themselves. And because they can't do it themselves, they expect somebody else who doesn't know them as good as they know themselves to bring that happiness that they couldn't bring it for themselves. How stupid is that? That's why most relationships don't work, because they come into the relationship to be happy uh, through the other person's efforts and interaction with the other person. You've got to be happy, find yourself and understand your own psyche and your path in life, what you like and what you want to accomplish and what makes you be content 
before you get into a relationship. If you're getting into a relationship to be happy, that never happens because the other one is also getting into a relationship to be happy herself. And both of you thinking you're getting into a relationship to be happy. Two people who couldn't be happy are getting together hoping the other one who couldn't be happy either make this one happy now. How dumb is that? Let's be happy first. Understand where happiness comes from. Understand your own psyche. Which for that, you got to go to my site, mind at sixstruth.com and pick up that, me, my psyche, and I, the ebook. Now, plug in in the middle. <laughs> and then, once you know yourself the way you should know yourself, ponder about life. Ponder about what it is you want to accomplish. What makes you happy? What is happiness? When you have all these understanding, then you know you are there in a relationship for the relationship. Not that you're in a relationship to find happiness, to be who you want to be, to advance and be content with life. All those things should be found outside the relationship, by on yourself, on your own. When you come into a relationship, that's a different game. That's a relationship. Bring the best of you in there and she brings the best of her in there. And that is when you guys already found contentment, happiness, your path in life. And then you can see you will be focused on fun, physical, and mental understanding of each other's mind because there is no other agenda. Because you're not trying to find happiness uh, through pleasure that comes from a relationship. Because pleasure brings satisfaction, fulfills desire, and your ego is fluffed. And you think pleasure brings happiness. That's why when pleasure ends in a, in, in, or becomes a routine or nothing new anymore in a relationship, you think that relationship is no longer happy. Because all the things that were joyful in the relationship when you begun the relationship, you turn them into, I want more of this joy. You turn them into, I want to make sure that this will happen every day. And then after a while, that was no longer joy. It turned into pleasure. And pleasure became the routine. And that became the gateway to boredom. And then suddenly, you guys are bored from each other and there's no more happiness because you thought happiness comes from pleasure. Pleasure is pleasure. Pleasure is not necessarily bringing happiness. Pleasure brings fun, maybe. Pleasure is not a source of intelligence. Don't think that the more pleasure you have, the smarter you are. Pleasure is not smart. Pleasure is not intelligence. Pleasure is not happiness. Pleasure is not contentment. Pleasure is not growth. Pleasure is not Lots of things that you think you can gain all that criteria and wonderful things in life uh, through more and more pleasure. And that's exactly why if that is your intention to gain from a relationship and you focus on the pleasure of it all, physical and everything else, the imagery and everything else, you will see that that pleasure is not going to bring you all what you're looking for. And then you think the relationship is not working. But you were trying to bond in the relationship, bring happiness and satisfaction and elevation and advancement in the relationship by pleasure, constantly. The couples who are not happy, let's go to restaurant, let's go dancing, let's go disco, let's go on a trip. But it will always be the same no matter what you're doing because these are just pleasures. They're fun. They have nothing to do with you two actually being compatible and understanding each other's psyche consciousness everywhere you go on even on trip you're still carrying you with you it's not like you leave you with you and you have a better you when you travel or you have a better you when you actually go to a party or you have a better you when you go to disco or you have a better you when you go to a dinner a restaurant or better you go to a movie you're still the same person if you haven't focused on each other's consciousness and bonding on that level the pleasure, no matter how much you have in that relationship, will not bring smarts, intelligence, bonding, or happiness, or anything like that. That's why then you see you become disappointed and you think relationship is not working. 
but it's not working because you're trying to make it work through something that never makes anything work. It just makes it look like that the time is passing without you being bored. And after a while you keep doing that, even that pleasure is not stopping you from being bored because you've had it so often and you then eventually all pleasures will not make you, not, no pleasure will make you happy because you've gone through so many different kinds of pleasures and you eventually understood that none of them really brings you happiness, it's just another pleasure. Then you will stop wanting to have pleasure either. Then you become depressed. Then you become all this, all because you were trying to bring happiness and know how about life and negotiate life through pleasure and trying to leave it to the other partner to bring all these contentment, happiness, satisfaction, and so on to feel good about yourself in a relationship or through a relationship, not through yourself and on, on your own merit and efforts. So on that note, you need no closure. The closure is already the fact it didn't work. Hallelujah. Go on and find somebody else that you will be able to have a good relationship with based on you've always found happiness already, both of you, and then you come to relationship, try to get to know each other and build something together on a reality, an actuality of life, not on imageries and become more and pretend and pleasure and all that bullshit that really has no reality to it. It just comes and goes, a feeling that is created, but there's nothing for you to build on. So, Focus on learning about yourself, your consciousness, and each other's conscious bond on that level. You'll have a better chance. And no need for a closure, closure when you've already seen things just didn't work out. No big deal. Verstehen Sie? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Boy, that was a question that got me going. That was a long talk, wasn't it? Are you guys still there or sleeping? <laughs> so, now, guys, until I get my bearings and have a cup of this, please do like the stream before you forget. All right, now. Lottie says, let's see what, uh, what Wesley says, uh, if he has got anything to say before we end this. Leslie says, Mehran, your words are so powerful. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will uh, book a, a phone session in the near future. I love you, man. I love you too. I love all of you. And yes, go through the site, mindatsixtruth.com and click on talk to me for consultation and see the packages and as i mentioned for a, a short while anybody who gets up to one hour of consultation i will double that from one hour one and a half to two hours depending on where we are in our conversation i don't usually run by minutes so therefore i want to make sure that um, it, the conversation comes to uh, uh, fruition and, and and is beneficial um, before we end the session so if you get a half an hour, you get an hour, you get 15 minutes, you get half an hour, you get an hour, you get about two hours. So until as long as that lasts, you guys, I look forward to have a chat with you guys and explore what is going through your mind and concerns you. Now, let's get back to where we left off. <laughs> <laughs> 